shouldn't be. No, I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry, uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong. Thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Hey, Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious, like, French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You seen the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe, and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Oh, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. Let someone else do the work for once. Pack its orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm Staff Analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me, Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think she's aware of that. <sighs> no, I, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Big mistake. Oh man, there's the angry face. From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Stay there! 
I'm coming! Joker! Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it! Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Good. Brooks, you got hit. I know. I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a Skycar lot. Precision motors. Morning. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Oh, also, stay off your comms. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Shepard, can you hear me? You okay? I'm fine. Might need a little backup. It's good to hear your voice. Joker told me what happened. I'm on foot, but not far. Excuse me, who is this? Secure channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. From what? Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned Staff Analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Garrett's here. Heard you're in trouble. Everybody's heading your way. Good to hear. Things are a little dicey. Wouldn't have it any other way. Brooks, found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the, uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override it. Confirming Spectre authorization. Spectre access accepted. Damn it! Shepard, what are you doing? I heard that from here. It's all under control. They said some kind of alarm. What's going on? I thought I'd make things more interesting. Of course you did. Shepard, Brooks sent me the nav point for the sky car lot. I'm on my way. Good. What do we know about these mercenaries? They have guns and don't like me. Very helpful. Thanks. Commander, it would really be great if you could stay off the comm. Hey, they called me. Commander, there's a C-Sec shuttle inbound if you can get to the sky car lot. Understood. Seems like. 
like you're having a bad day, Shepard. You could say that. <laughs> Landing pad's over there, but it's behind a lock gate. Let's look for a control panel. Nice outfit. Ah, control panel. Right. Stand back. Uh, just a minute. Can you open the gate? What are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. Shepard, we got a way out of here. Rex, I'm a professional. That's not a yes. Not a no. Almost there, Commander. Hang on. Great place to fight it! Lots to destroy! Approaching your position, Commander. Just following the gunfire. Copy that! Sorry I'm late. Had to take the scenic route. Scenic route? We nearly crashed four times. Where the hell did you learn to drive? And Brooks says hi. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Yeah, who are those guys? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns, and grenades, and those drone things. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well... Yes, that did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you. They said the medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's Pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Guess we're back on the clock. Hey, when this is done, we'll carve out some time. Just the two of us. Okay. Ideas on where to start with these guys? Maybe. Let's look at that pistol you picked up. 
For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Let me see it. I might be able to help. Glyph. I'll begin collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Liara. Shepard. I'm relieved to see you're in one piece. A shame about the sushi place, though. It was a favorite. I hear that. All right, the hour is on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. It won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguiser. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear, or worse. If his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team, no gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Still, we're talking about a casino. There's got to be alarms in that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast fair and leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a chorus back at op end, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. You're looking radiant, Commander. As in beautiful, or as in causing invisible damage? Why can't it be both?
Ow, my heart. Nice. Oh, speaking of, you see my exit wound? The Medigel is supposed to match skin pigmentation, but it never does. Just smile and wave, Brooks. Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. You know, I heard you were an engineer. Easy to forget with all the, uh, shooting. Khan, you and me are gonna have a talk. What the hell? And here I had this good cop routine all planned. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy that trash-talked me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Hell of a party. Though, not so fun for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do they need with that kind of firepower? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Whoever's hacking your records is there right now. What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the Volus? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill? What's the best way into the archives? The facility is located below the wards. 
Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher moss. Don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with Asari. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! This again. That's enough! Drop your weapons or this won't end well for her. You bitch. All right. <laughs> Whatever you think you're getting away with. There's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Uh huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You weren't the only Shepard that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. I don't care who you claim to be. You're not me. I'm exactly you. I was made for spare parts in case you needed another lung or a heart. A clone? Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. So what's your point in trying to kill us? Because I don't have her memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Major Alenko. I would have picked the other one on Vermeer. Ashley something. You're just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing. Perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, the failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying her ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm sending the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. It'll be a cold day in hell before someone steals my ship. It's not stealing if I'm you. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today. At this point, anything's possible. You mean, like, finding out you have a clone? I don't want to talk about it. At least not till we've all had a stiff drink. How are we gonna find anything in this place? Glyph? Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? She looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph, it's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. This is 
Why shoot something once, when you can shoot it 46 more times? The... other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure, and we'll try to surround her. Let's move! This can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? Not seeing one. Cortez! Brooks! Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for... well, forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. The minute, the second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount her head next to yours. Then I'm gonna take both your heads and space them out the airlock. Count me in. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda, I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. You know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard, human specter. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, uh... I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? She said I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. And now maybe let's turn our attention to the impregnable vault that we've just been sealed in forever. How come nobody told me about this before? I'm open to feedback here. Well, I thought all humans said it like some weird Earth custom or something. I'm gonna guess we've got an hour of air in here, tops. Maybe it's... I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, hey, why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship, not even me. Shepard plus two. 
and figure it out fast because the other shepherd is stealing my ship. I wanted to go. As did I. It seems I rarely get picked. Joker will come back for you, I promise. This is why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Tried. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Even if they get to Normandy, we can go to the Council and prove you're the real Shepard. No, she hacked the biometric logs, remember? The scans will back her, not us. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? Don't worry. You'll get your ship back. We'd better. I just got the seat broken in how I like it. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. Even. Wait, what? You were just on the Normandy. You, you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. I can't fire you without a disciplinary hearing trainer. And really, the first thing you grab is your toothbrush? It's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you. Cerberus Clone Shepard. It's, uh... Yeah, that's all I got. I can explain more later. For now... <clears throat> it's sealed. They're getting ready to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay, you know the ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock, and it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? I could trigger it with a biotic field, but I don't think I have the fine control we need. If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was going to save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. Her this way. Wouldn't you rather take her down yourself? Armory, find her. Slow her down. We 
pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. I'll try to remember that. This is a bit tight. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. My bad. Those assholes are in the shuttle bay. My shuttle bay. I just know some asshole messed around with my weights. I finally had him set up right. Priorities, Vega. That's creepy. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the Council? Or hack it? Big plan looking now. <laughs> Hatchet squad to the shuttle deck. That makes us a perfect target. No, that makes us the bait. Do you want me to drive? No. Damn it. Launch the shuttle and blow that thing out of the sky! You so damn special. Why you and not me? Hang on. No. We got you. <sighs> Thanks. What about this pendejo? You get off. Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Might have to clean up a few holes from where we shot the shit out of the shuttle bay, though. 
Plus they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but Shuttle Guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give him some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Until you escape. Me escape? But I'm not a field agent. Stop. Just stop. You betrayed me and the Alliance in the middle of a war. I was young and naive. Admit it, Commander. You'll miss me. Not at this range, I won't. Uh, maintenance to the shuttle bay? The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. So what do you want to do for short leave next time? <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. That sounds fantastic. <laughs>